What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Unknown Codings channel. Going to be taking these wheels, which are anodized red or flat candy red, and turning them into lollipop red. Uh, HRE is in pretty good shape, so here we go. I don't have any video of me stripping these wheels, but here's me rinsing them off in a photo. Now that we have them all stripped, you can see there's a couple of little nicks and curb marks and stuff on these wheels. They're overall in pretty good shape. Just a few light things to go over, so we'll be throwing a 120 disc on the DA and smoothing these things out. I've had a few people ask me if there are other methods for fixing curb rash like this, um, especially stuff that doesn't quite need welded. Um, I have a tutorial coming up about how to use JB Weld. I know there are other products, obviously, that people love using to fill in stuff for powder coat. And traditionally, you don't use JB Weld on high temp applications. Um, I've been pretty successful with doing it. And like I said, I have a video coming up. So expect that here in this month sometime. But after you hit this with a DA, because these were all just little nicks and marks, uh, as you can see, it's perfectly smooth now. So we're going to get these things racked up. And honestly, I don't know if this would be a video of me powder coating if it doesn't show me blowing off these parts. Um, another thing I get a lot of questions about is in regards to blowing off these parts is after sandblasting, do you just have to blow them off? A lot of people actually like to go and wash them or rinse them. I try to be as keep in as little involvement as possible after sandblasting. Um, I don't want a chemical manipulation. The sanding is already a little bit too much for me, um, but I do the sanding to make sure obviously the lips are all perfect. So really it's just blowing them off for me. Um, real high pressure air with a good air gun, like uh, one of the tornadoes or one of those other, tornadoes or typhoons, one of the good brands. Um, and then uh, that pretty much gets them ready to coat. So because these are going to be going lollipop red, of course we need to put a base coat down. Uh, in this case, we're going to be going with Super Chrome from Prismatic. So we'll go ahead and load a couple pounds of this into the Optiflex Pro. It's a box feed unit, as you can tell. And this is my struggle with trying to record stuff and then also do stuff with the gun with one hand took me way too long to get that powder bag down and get the pickup tube dropped in. We'll fire up the Optiflex Pro and uh, get to spraying these things. I've seen a few comments here and there about this particular technique as I'm, you know, brushing this back and forth from front to back. A lot of people like to go just in a circle, starting on, you know, one side of the wheel and working their way in or out, however the case might be for them. I actually prefer this method. It seems like it gets a lot more even coat. I know when I go in a circle, I tend to have like some weird light spots just, uh, you know, as your wrist turns to go around, they're just not quite as even. But obviously this is just a preference thing. So whatever you like doing best, I would suggest doing. And then like other wheel sets, just uh, working all the tough areas first. These wheels, because of the thin spokes and they're all basically like a triangle pattern, uh, it's just corner to corner to corner over and over. Uh, they had some weird recesses around the lug areas that were kind of a pain to get powder into, but it worked out in the end. I typically like to do the back of the wheel first, as many of you know, and then shoot the face, and then move to the barrel part of this. Uh, these are 21 by 12, as you can see, they have a huge barrel. And it's that time in the video where I mentioned that if you like powder coating and powder coating content, or really just wheel stuff in general, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you get a heads up every time we post a video. This is, I think, like the third video in the month of June. Uh, I'm doing a video every other day uh, in the month of June for 2023. So make sure you turn on all notifications, hit that like button, and I appreciate the support.
All right, and these things went in. Uh, as you know, with Super Chrome, you want to go to a full cure. Uh, these are 375 for 15 minutes. Uh, pull them out of the oven and, of course, let them cool before throwing the red on them. Uh, super Chrome, as you can tell, super gorgeous every time. But these things need to be red, so we're going to be throwing some lollipop red on them. Bam, just like that, another set in the books. These ones came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, the before and after of these with the flat candy red to now the gloss candy red, especially, I mean, the flat candy red was uh, a little haggard. Like I said, it had some curb marks and some random wear on it. Um, getting them to this lollipop red finish over Super Chrome was definitely the move, and I can't wait to see those on the brand new Corvette. <laughs> 